Today, it's the Pittsburgh Steelers versus the Denver Broncos. Second and ten now for Elway. We'll talk to Pacheco later. And they try to set up the screen to wider that never develops. Good coverage out there by Greg Loy. He was four wideouts, including Steve Sewell, setting up at the slot. Cutting time again for Elway. It's deflected, and the teal almost comes up with it. Now they're throwing the flag, but the ball is deflected at the line. Don't forget. Five, second and goal. Misdirection to Sammy Winder. And he can't get to the corner. Penalty flag down to the play with Rod Woodson coming up to make the stop. Four-year contract extension. First and ten for Brister in Pittsburgh. And Lewis Lips gets the offense going. And a first down for the Pittsburgh Steelers. The system works. You just have to learn it and execute it. The wham play. And Merrill Hodge has a first down. Mike Malarkey, the tight end, helping out as you saw him go in motion. to player that they were so concerned about was Merrill Hodge. And here's a very nice hole where Hodge hits it. But I've talked about his running style so much in the past. He runs so low to the ground and so hard. Boy, he just runs over Dennis Smith and gets a couple extra yards. Six. Lewis lips in motion. Pocket holding up well for Bobby Brister. Will he run for it? Yes, but a flag down to the play. He slides down with a first down. But there's a flag deep in the secondary. Hodge, second and seven. Ball to the 24 of Denver. Lewis lips wide open. And Lewis got the first down. All the way down to the 10-yard line. Brister. Sending Malarkey in motion. Setting up. Has a man. Lips. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. Brister facing a second and five. At his own 27, Merrill Hodge with room. A flag down to the play, though, where you normally see a holding call. Steelers are looking at a second and 16, and it's complete from Bobby Brister. Six defensive backs in for the Steelers on third and 17. L.A. rolling the pocket. Carnell Lake's got him. A sack for the Steelers. First sack of the day for the Pittsburgh Steelers belongs to Carnell Lake in his second year from UCLA. Watch L.A. here. As soon as he gets the ball, he backs up and takes off to the right side. He's looking to throw the ball all the way back on the other side of the field. Now, he's used to making moves on linemen. He tries this little move on Carnell Lake and Carnell Lake. Have it. First and ten, their own 45-yard line. Play action for Brister, wide open. It's Mike Malarkey. And Malarkey, tough to bring down, has the first down to the 32 of Denver. Jordan with the Minnesota Vikings for six seasons. Malarkey the motion down on first and ten from the 32. Brister goes to Lewis Lips. He's down the sideline, beating Henderson inside the 10, but they say he stepped out of bounds back at the 16. Something where he just went down to the ground once again. Lewis Lips making the catch and then turning the ball upfield. And there you see Wyman Henderson just falling to the ground. The first down at the 16 for the Steelers. Warren Williams with a huge hole. Bangs his way inside the 10. Near another first down for the Steelers. Out in Montgomery for Wyman Henderson. First and goal. Play action for Brister. Has Green wide open. Touchdown Steelers. Eric Green with his third NFL TD. You see Derek Hill going in motion. Bubby Brister with the obvious naked bootleg. bootleg. They call it naked because he's out there by himself. And Eric Green is wide open. All he has to do is catch the ball. And that's what he does. Bubby Brister, this is why they call it the naked bootleg. There's nobody out there. And Brister knows exactly. Oh, hey, them ribs are feeling a lot better. Welcome to the field strike. Brister, four lifts. Breaks the tackle, has the first down. Gets away, enough from Alton Montgomery. Yeah, but audibleizing because of the noise factor, the wideouts hearing the calls by Bubby Brister. That has not been a factor, though. Brister for lips, he's wide open, working on Montgomery again. Well, Montgomery is in there for Wyman Henderson, Elliott Smith on the opposite side. Montgomery, a rookie from Houston, and they are really working on him. They are working on Alton Montgomery, but watch Lewis Lips' route here. He just runs a stop pattern. Alton Montgomery's got to give him some room, sort of a stop and go, and then brings it back inside. And a perfect throw once again by Bubby Brister. You talk a lot about the arm of John Elway, but Brister has showed here he's got a gun on his side also. Former baseball player. One way to keep the, or beat the Broncos, keep Elway off the field. And right now, that's what the Steelers are doing. They've had it for better than three minutes. Live at the second half. Steelers looking impressive again. Play action for Bubby Brister. A wide open Warren Williams. Beats Fletcher on the outside and has the first down for Chuck Noll in his 22 years in the tight end position. Quick pitch, Hodge. Blocking out in front. 
He can walk in. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. Chuck No looks on half. Now, you watch this pitch back to Merrill Hodge. Now, he's got two escorts and <laughs> the defensive back running out of the way. Eight and a half minutes left in the third. First and ten outside of the 30. Play action for John Elway. Firing it, and it's batted away from Jackson. What timing by Rod Woodson. He's got so much speed, he's able. He's a little bit out of position, but watch his recovery. He comes right in there and gets that hand in here and knocks that ball out. Rod Woodson may be the best player on this Pittsburgh defense. First drive of the second half for Denver. Movement in the line. Looks like contact by the nose tackle, VC. Elway in trouble. Dumping off for Zool. He bobbles it. Loose ball. Now they say it's an incompletion. Because out of the corner of your eye, you see a freight train coming at you. This is, you see how long he's looking back at the quarterback? There's got to be somebody coming. And there he is. And that's not a catch. David Johnson. Looked like a catch to me. Looked like a catch and a fumble. Exactly that. Well, I thought I saw Vance Johnson come off the bench. No, he's not in there. Sewell's the slot back. Four wide receivers. Elway in trouble, and he's down. Donald Evans with the second sack of the day for the Pittsburgh Steelers in his second year out of Winston-Salem State. Just not looking good at all. John Elway trying to look downfield. Can't find anybody open, and Donald Evans just... Eric Green, the big one in motion. Play action out of his own end zone. Brister going for the bundle. Has Dwight Stone wide open. He's got it inside the 40. Atwater's the only one back. Who can get him? He's out of bounds at the three. What a catch by Dwight Stone. What a throw by Bubby Brister. 91 yards on the completion. What a call by Joe Walton. <laughs> <laughs> there are so many what is on that play. Just as I was about to say that they had to go 95 yards to score, Bubby Brister pulls this one off. Nice fake into the line. He's got Dwight Stone, the fastest man on this team. Runs a 4-2-40. He's wide open. Brister lays the ball right. Watch him catch it without missing stride. Now, at this point, that 4 2 is starting to slow down because here comes Atwater. He feels Atwater coming on him and ends up trying to weave a little bit and steps out of bounds. you got to try to watch him. With you. There is the out of bounds. Oh, boy. You catch a ball like that, you got to try to get that sucker in the end zone. His main receiver, Vance Johnson, is injured on the sideline. Elway with the pocket holding up. Has room, but he's taken down. Keith Willis knifing through. Donald Evans also helping out. And you notice more of the offense getting the plays because Malarkey telling the wide receiver what to do on that audible. Chris Callaway's got the completion. He just came in for the first time today, the rookie from Michigan. Malarkey in motion. Brister on the play action. He's got Warren Williams wide open for a first down. Mumford tackles him. A little fake over to Merrill Hodge. Now he's down. He's looking at Williams the entire way. Williams is wide open. Very nice shot. Perfect and a very pass. nice tackle, too. Broncos now showing six men on the line of scrimmage. Brister. Firing it for Lewis Lips, who got up and made the reception. Unbelievable. He was tangled up without Montgomery. Still managed to make the grab. Great awareness by Lewis Lips. But watch the, watch the protection that Bubby Brister has. There is no pressure on this quarterback at all. He looks to the right, to the left, then fires his ball. Lewis Lips is on the ground, gets up and reaches out and makes that grab. But I just can't believe the protection that Bubby Brister's gotten all day. They haven't, they've pressured him, I think, once. And now, the Steelers trying to make it 28 on their side. Brister with all day for Eric Green. The tight end's got it. He's got a Pittsburgh touchdown. Stone the entire time. Here you see Eric Green. You want to know what 280 pounds does for you? Watch this catch and watch people bounce off these 280 pounds. There's a nice catch there. He goes, hey, all right, look out, man. And just rambles right into the end zone. Put a Eastern with NFL Live. Brister is throwing on first down. Lewis Lips with a big cushion on the rookie, Alton Montgomery, as a first down. That last number tells you how much the Broncos miss Bobby Humphrey. The NFL's leading rusher, Brister, has his man, Callaway, wide open for a first down on third and long. Third and 17, and they convert. Everything's going the Steelers' way. Chuck Noll cheering his team on. And watch Bubby Brister. Watch the so much time to throw the ball. There's no pressure on the quarterback at all. Wide open receiver. That's like pitch and catch. Other side of the line today. 
for the Pittsburgh Steelers. A couple of fumbles by Warren Williams. The biggest minus is Lewis Lips hit him stride by Bobby Brister. Dennis Smith finally gets his legs out from under him, but not before another first down for the Steelers and younger players. But watch the accuracy. We've been talking about it all day long. Watch this. Brister with that little pump gets Holmes up in the air and then put look at that ball right there. And Brister, knowing that he's having a good day, Lewis Lips getting a little whiplash on the end of that. There's Brister. There you see Lewis being walked off the field. Nine receptions, 140 yards, and the touchdown. 16th time in his career. He has gone over the 100-yard mark in receiving yardage. Lewis Lips sinks ships. Dominated the first quarter. They own the ball for almost 11 minutes of the first quarter. Brister with a wide-open Mike Malarkey diving. He is down at the one-yard line where it's going to be first and goal for Pittsburgh. And Brister on the naked bootleg, just nobody out there at all. 20 for 27, 353 yards, three touchdowns, no interceptions. Number six. almost like you say, Mike, get excited, buddy. Watch, watch Brister on this rollout. There is nobody over here. The entire Denver team is going right, and Brister is going left. If his ribs didn't hurt, he could have ran in for a touchdown. Very nice play there. Inside the 10. Oh. At the 3, it is second and goal. Brister, wide open Eric Green. I think he knows how to find the end zone and the ball. The Steelers on their way to a 500 mark at Denver. Total domination may be an understatement when you look at those numbers in the second half of where the Pittsburgh Steelers manhandled. Chuck Noll gives us a little dance at the end of the contest. <laughs> that I have to play with that screw in his leg. Break for the Broncos. They get another chance on fourth down. This time fourth and five. Aaron Jones knocks it away. It's picked up by Donald Evans. Evans has speed. Evans may take it all the way. He's chased by Sammy Winder. Evans inside the 15. <laughs> his teammates are going to give him some trouble. Had the best of protection all day here trying to come out of there, drops the ball, and Evans with a nice scoop. Now look at him. That's as fast as I've seen a lineman run. And here comes here comes Sandy, Sammy White. Are we sure that's not going? going Looks like he, Keystone Cop. It did. Was that going too fast? <laughs> World premiere movie, A Quiet Little Neighborhood, A Perfect Little Murder. But viewers on the West Coast, don't forget to tune in. To tune in. It's 7 o'clock Pacific. It's all coming your way tonight on NBC. So the Steelers overwhelmed. The Denver Broncos from the second quarter on.